All right. So many of you watched the Don't Publish Your Power BI reports anymore last week, where I showed you how amazing you can integrate, how you can use this amazing integration between OneDrive and Power BI to just save your files into OneDrive and have them like automatically sync up into the service. Now, there's some kind of pros and cons with that. In today's video, we're going to actually get into that. I'm going to tell you why maybe you shouldn't not publish or shouldn't don't publish. I mean, do publish? Okay. Do publish. Do publish. Let's we're going to get into that. All right, make sure you did the whole YouTube thing. Hit the like, subscribe, all that stuff, right? It really helps me out. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And if you really appreciate the stuff that I do, head out, head down, become a member, and you, for as little as $5 a month, you can get all this content early, all right? So this is the video I'm talking about here. Don't publish. Holy crap. No. Not like the biggest YouTuber on the planet, you know, so like, you know, uh, uh, but... 20,000 views is quite a number of views for me. Um, uh, so 20,000 views out there went and watched how you can not publish data, you know, Power BI or more. You could just use the one like um, uh, integration in which I showed you how we can actually take this file got right here. We can, you know, save that out into the service and then that becomes my updated model, right? Um, and I've got it right here, and you can actually see that I, that it's all all right out here. And hey, everything's here. That's great. I've set up my auto refresh on it and stuff like that, and it's it's refreshing. I like this was literally, uh, you, so I'm filming it on Saturday, <laughs> January twenty fifth, twenty twenty five. Um, you know, this was just a few minutes ago uh, when it refreshed. Okay, and hey, this thing works and it's good, right? Right. Well, let's talk about who this makes good sense for. Now, this is a great solution if you're in a small business, uh, or I'm sorry, yeah, a small business, or you're a team of uh, like finance or sales or HR, and there's a couple of analysts that are, maybe you're trading information with managers or with your employees, and uh, you're accustomed to like having a whole bunch of Excel spreadsheets that you manage, and now you have a whole bunch of Power BI reports, and you want to keep them in sync, and you want to be able to like go into SharePoint and restore to a previous version, and you, you know you you love that interaction, you love that system of be able to manage your files and version control out in SharePoint. That's awesome. That's great. But there's some kind of challenges that kind of come along with this, where maybe this isn't the proper way and best way to do this, and. Uh, I, I think one of the big things you're seeing is that the actual sync between SharePoint and Power BI can be, be a little wonky and you don't have any real control over it. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so here is the uh, SharePoint uh, file that I uploaded. We just checked this out. Uh, but notice something here that's a little odd. We've got my initial data load here. Like if you watch the video that this is the first thing I loaded, uploaded and, and that synced and it worked great. Uh, so that was fine. But here's the problem. This is the file I saved. I updated the data inside my file that was manually coded. And that was a week ago, maybe even longer when I initially upload this file and it still hasn't synced across. Now, I don't know if that's because I didn't set up like some sort of refresh thing or I, like, I don't know. I haven't really troubleshooted it, but it's a bit of a problem. I don't have this thing right. Um, so, but let's take a look at what happens if I upload it. So I've got my data here. If I hit publish instead of, um, uh, instead of just saving it, I can go and I can hit publish. I can hit SharePoint my SharePoint demo, I can hit select, and it's gonna publish this up into the service. Now, oh, this is actually interesting. This did not happen before, so I'm gonna replace it, I guess. This is new, it was, it, this behavior is unexpected, it didn't happen, ah, yep. All right, okay, here it is. 
A data center report already exists and is set to a cloud refresh. You could save the file with a different name and publish again. Okay. All right. I, I apologize. This is what it's supposed to do. It's going to reject it. I can't publish this file into this workspace. Okay. So I can't uh, go in and update it. But that leaves me with this screen not having the right information on it. And no matter what I do, it's not syncing right. Whereas if I go over, I say, okay, got it. I go file, save as, and yeah, we'll keep it in the same place, right? And I'm just going to call this uh, uh, upload, or I'm sorry, not upload, deploy demo. And hit save on that. It's going to save it out to OneDrive or SharePoint or OneDrive. I mean, same thing. And then I hit publish. I go to the same SharePoint demo, click select. It's going to publish this out there. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And there we go. We're done. Okay, so that's out. If I go back, I go he to the same environment. And boom, here's my deploy demo. I can go in, I can look, and I see updated data here. I can easily pop right back, hit my transform. And uh, I can actually go in and adjust this instead of updated data. We'll, we'll call this one uh, updated again data. Okay, close and apply. It's gonna refresh. Apply changes, update it again, data. All right, now if I hit publish again, yeah, save it. Interesting, it didn't remember where I published it before. That's odd. So I'm gonna hit public, I'm gonna put it in the same place. Yes, I wanna replace it. Notice it was only replacing the report, not the data set. So it's publishing it out. Got it, which is interesting that didn't. If I go and I hit refresh, my updated data should be updated again. So immediately, I'm able to get these results and everything looks all good on this, right? It's kind of a big difference and a big deal, right? Like, here's my other report that I can't seem to update that data on for whatever reason and one that I can like immediately and right away. All right. All right. Between me and you, this is kind of a deal breaker. I know that it works and uh, like I've seen videos. I know other people that are doing it and some people do this for, to great success and they absolutely love it, but I don't know about you. I don't know if I trust it, right? Like, Am I going to file tickets? I can't update it if it's out there. Uh, I, I, where's my book? If, you, if you're new to the channel, you, you've not seen this before. But if you've been with my channel for a long time, you know I always go back to this. This is, this is approaching a decade old at this point in time. But when Microsoft rolls out, and it's not just Microsoft, any company, when you roll out new software, there, there goes some progression. MVP, you know, MVP releases, right? So here we are. Here they are. Suck, okay, and great. Well, I got to tell you, I, I, I got to say this kind of sucks. Um, the saving to OneDrive thing, I, I can't update it. I can't change it. Well, I, I got to open a ticket? That's less than great. So... While it does work, and I'm sure other people, maybe I'm doing something inherently wrong. I don't know what it is, but it shouldn't be that hard, right? So I'm going to tell people, do continue publishing your Power BI reports. Don't, don't publish your Power BI reports, okay? It's a great feature. If it works, there that it's a good use case for HR, for finance, for uh, sales teams, right? But there's kind of nothing wrong with deploying uh, your report instead of relying just upon that one drive sync. So uh, to me, I'm giving this, uh, you know, like, hey, I'm, I'm retracting it. Do the publishing. All right. Hopefully you found this video useful. 
I want to thank you for sticking in there this whole time and, and listening to me yammer on for over 10 minutes at this point. Um, uh, I really appreciate you uh, again. Uh, make sure you've, if you found this useful, helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your other people at your company. So let them know, uh, give me a thumbs up, all that good stuff. Memberships really help out as well. Become a member of the channel. Um, and we will see you next time. Have the best day ever. Peace. Ow. Wait, wrong button. Baker Tilly Digital combines strategic industry insight right. and advanced I know that this stuff is more than a little confusing. Your Do you need some help? Head practice. over to bakertilly.com uh, slash digital. Click on there's a little form to feed to get more information. Fill that out. Let me know you need some help with Power BI or Fabric. Myself or my colleagues.